Okay, we're going to get started. Can you turn your bodies and look at the smart board over there? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Does anyone want to try to read that first learning card? Go ahead. I can determine the meaning of words as they are used in my book. Very good. I can determine the meaning of words that are in my book. What do you think we're going to do? Uh, read books. Read books. And when we're reading, what are we going to do? Um, what do we do if we come? To, what are we going to do if we come to a word that we don't know what it means? Um, look in a glossary. Maybe we could look in a glossary. A dix. A dictionary. Well, let's read the second learning target and see what we might do. Who wants to read the second learning target? Go ahead. I can use context clues to help me understand meanings of words. I can use context clues to help me understand the words. Is that what we're going to do? Okay. You can take a guess. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to... Um, we're going to use context clues to help us figure out the word. He's got it. Did you hear that? We're going to use what's called context clues to help us figure out what words mean. And we're going to do that with this book. Have any of you ever read this? No. Okay. I'm going to start reading it to you, and I'm going to show you what this, how this works, okay? Because when I read, even as a teacher, sometimes I come to a word, I don't know what it means. And so I have to use what I know, and I have to use pictures, and I might have to use a dictionary, or I might have to use context clues to help me figure out what the word means. Sometimes I don't have somebody there to be like, do you know what this word means? And I have to figure it out on my own. Has anyone ever come to a word when they're reading and you're like, uh-oh, I don't know what this means, but I'm just going to keep going? Nope. You have? You have? Okay. Well, usually when you're reading, you come to some words that you're not sure. And I'm going to give you some ways that you can, you can figure out words. Why is it important to know the words you're reading? Yeah. So you learn. So you learn. What if you couldn't read all the words in the book? What would happen? You could ask the teacher, but what if you were by yourself and you couldn't get through it? What would happen? Would you know what was happening in the book? Mm -hmm. No. If you, you can read the picture. You could read the pictures. That's one way to figure it out. The captions. The captions. Good. I'm going to teach you a new strategy today. So, I'm going to come to a word that you might not know, and I'm going to show you how it would work. This book is called Thank You, Mr. Faulkner. Thank you, Mr. Fox. The grandpa held the jar of honey so that all the family could see, then dipped a ladle into it and drizzled honey on the cover of a small book. Raise your hand if you know what ladle means. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Wait, ladle? Yeah. Ladle. Mm. Could you use the pictures to help you figure it out? Dropped. You think maybe dropped? So the grandpa held the jar of honey so that all the family could see. Then dipped the ladle into... Dip the ladle. What's the ladle? Yeah, what is a ladle? The same as? A spoon. A spoon. And what did you use to figure that out? Picture. The picture. That's one way to help you figure out words. And drizzled honey on the cover of a small book. Do you know what drizzled means? What? Around her and watch her do magic with the crayons. In first grade, you'll learn to read, her brother said. Was she learning how to read? No. What did she like to do? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, now I'm going to show you what you're going to do when you get your own. I'm going to have you pick out a book, and you're going to independently read the book by yourself. But when you come to a word that you don't know, you're going to do something. And I'm going to show you. Watch what happens when I get stuck on a word that I don't know. In first grade, Trisha sat in a circle with the other kids. They were all holding our neighborhood. Their first reader sounded out the letters in the word. They said, B, B, Oi, Boy, and lo Look. The teacher smiled at them when they put all sounds together and got a word right. But when Trisha looked at the page, all she saw were wiggling shapes. I'm gonna keep reading to see if I can figure out what that word means. Every time you come to a word you don't know, what are you gonna do? When you come to a word that you don't know, what are you gonna do? What's that? The pictures? Where else could we look? The words. What if there's a sentence and you get what the sentence is saying, but you don't understand that one word? Could you look around the word and see if there are some words you do know? Yeah. Do you want to know what that's called? Using context clues. When you use context clues, you're looking at the words around it to help you figure it out. Okay? Yeah. Did you do that? Great. So you're going to be practicing that in, fifth, in third grade so that when you get to fifth grade, you'll be experts at it. When you use context clues, you're looking at the words around it to help you figure it out. Okay? Yeah. Did you do that? Great. So you're going to be practicing that in fifth, in third grade so that when you get to fifth grade, you'll be experts at it. Okay, I'm going to try to practice one What's more. the word you wrote down that you didn't know? Introduction. Introduction. Can you read the sentence where that was? Out loud to me, please. I was writing the introduction. What do you think that word means? Writing something. Writing something, maybe? Is there a strategy you could use to figure that word out? Is there any pictures in that page? No. No, so you couldn't use a picture. So what could you do? Look at the words behind the clock. Look at the words behind it or in front of it. Go ahead and try that and then write that strategy and what you think it means, okay?